I'm in the mood, you know, to like go all out for me. Can you like a catwalk, you know? This might jazz up my roast a little bit. Believe it or not, although I feel like I look it, I'm actually not hungover. And the day I'm filming this is a Sunday. I feel like it's not gonna be a Sunday when you guys are watching this, if you watch it when it goes live. But this might just be a nice video to save for your Sundays. I don't know about anyone else. And I feel like TikTok's got a massive part to like play in it. But I love having like a Sunday reset day, just like a really chill day. I feel, I feel like this day or like this vlog, you'll be like, it's not much different to like what you do, but I think on the other days I kind of film, like spend the day with me vlogs, I am doing like work and like stuff in between, whereas Sundays are not for work. Sundays are just for chilling out, getting things done, just having like a complete reset, ready for the week. I sometimes use my Mondays to do that too, but again, Mondays is like everyone's catching up with work over the weekend, and so it's never really like a full like chill day, which is what I wanna do today. So this is your sign to have like a productive yet chilled out Sunday. I feel like I want the vibe of this vlog to be very chilled. I'm gonna try and be chill, which I know isn't my main vibe. It's such a nice day today. I really wanna try and like go out and go for a walk. But I'm gonna start the morning with a good old breakfast. It's actually more like brunch. I love a lion on a Sunday. It's literally 10 to 12 right now. And I'm only sort of really just getting up and wanting to like be productive, but that's okay. Sundays are the day of rest and it's what they should be. So if you want the lion, have the lion. If you want the full, you know, that girl productive Sunday, get up early, whatever suits you. There's no rules on a Sunday. So yeah, if you've saved this video for your Sunday reset, let's just get started on our days together. Or if you don't need a Sunday to reset and you just want like a chilled day, I feel like I really love these vlogs because the time that I get like just to like watch YouTube videos is normally when I'm sort of doing this stuff in the background. So I feel like this is a nice video to have on in the background while you're also doing this sort of stuff, if that makes sense. So yeah, welcome to my Sunday reset. Happy Sunday or whenever you're watching this. Um, but first things first, uh, it's breakfast time. promise I'm not just making a green juice to like be that girl like I'm actually really loving this juice at the moment no idea if it's got like any sort of benefits I just love the taste and as someone that like kind of struggles to sort of get their fiber day in this really helps this must be at least I mean I had a whole apple I don't know in terms of portions like what counts as like part of your fiber day but I feel like this is at least well I've got a whole apple maybe like two, two or three, I feel like more like two. Um, but I'll be having like vegetables with my lunch and dinner. So yeah, this is just like a good start to the day. And I just love the taste of this. I feel like the lychee juice kind of really helps. Um, so if you're trying to get into green juices or like if you're trying to like green juices but you've never really found one that, that you do like, um, definitely try this one. I will have put the recipe up on the screen. Monica, I wish you a lifetime of happiness with him. 
Chandler. You call me when he goes in the pooper. <laughs> That was unreal. Like, that was probably the, one of the nicest breakfasts I've had, or brunch, uh, in ages. Um, but I always like to do my cooking first, and then I kind of just get on with the rest of my chores, you know? Things in the dishwasher. I got a new Hoover. She's kind of cute, you know? Material girl! She's definitely got some unicorn cosmetics lashes on, that's for sure. Um, I'm not sure where I left off, probably when I was just cleaning. God, cleaning is a bit of a workout, you know? If you put your back in it, like literally, I was sweating. Um, so I've just had a shower, obviously. Feeling very fresh and refreshed. I'm in my new favorite robe, uh, which is from I Saw It First. Um, which by the way, all the clothing bits that you're gonna see, cause I've got my little outfit laid out behind me, um, are all from I Saw It First, and they are sponsoring kind of like the clothing element of this video. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys. Hi, son. We'll leave everything linked down below for you guys because they've got some amazing sort of transitional bits in for this like sunnier weather. Wearing slightly less layers. Uh, now the sun's out. Um, and I've just picked up a few bits which I feel like you guys are gonna love. And yeah, one of them is this robe. You know me and my robes while I'm getting ready. And this one is just number one. Such a gorgeous girly color. I love it. Um, but it's just, I didn't have one of these. It's just like a really like lightweight jersey robe. You know I love my satin robes. Um, but I didn't have one like this. And I thought I want something a little cozier for when I get ready. And I really love this color. And I do actually have a discount code with I saw it first. I want to make sure I get this right. Um, the code is Rach. And it gives new customers or anyone who's never shopped with I Saw It First before five pounds off orders over 20 pounds. So if you've never shopped at I Saw It First, there's a little incentive for you. Code Rach is going to get you five pounds off if you're a brand new customer. Um, so make sure you go and check that out. I can't wait to show you my outfit. It's literally just to go to Tesco, but I've got this new mentality where, I don't know, you never know who you might see, like, anywhere that you go. And I know on a Sunday, it's a day to chill, so you can totally not put a face on, but I thought I'll show you my like really quick, glowy, minimal makeup look face as part of this video because I'm kind of in the mood to wear some makeup uh, to Tesco's and look kind of cute. Um, I think it's because the outfit's cute. So I just wanna, you know, make the most of that fit. So I've made myself a cup of tea, ready to get ready. Um, I did obviously moisturize as soon as I got out the shower as in like my body and my face. But I just like to use a bit of brow gel brush up brow hairs um within my like shower moment i have come to the conclusion that when i go for my food shop after this i am gonna get bits to make a roast it's a sunday of course um and i feel like doing like everything well i say everything from scratch should i test myself and try and do a chicken from scratch hmm Ooh. I'm suddenly not sure because I've seen a, people, a few people on TikTok say it as well that they get, they get like chicken anxiety. And I mean, like, I do feel like I experience the same. Like, I just want to make sure that it's like thoroughly cooked, you know? So maybe I just won't do the chicken, but I want to do my own potatoes. I want to do uh, either a broccoli cheese or a cauliflower cheese. You guys know I've like nailed that. So then chicken, veg. I want to do some like garlicky carrots and parsnips type vibes so yeah I, i'm gonna make a lot of it myself i'm just i'm in the mood you know to like go all out for me anyway on to the makeup just thought i'd let you know that's what i do plan to do so stay tuned for that i know you guys enjoy when i cook um i know this is meant to be under foundation and i always say how i used to wear it on its own because it looks so gorge i still on like a no makeup makeup day love this on its own just a really fresh 
like dewy look. I used the shades 4.5. And I did actually put up on my Instagram story. Oh, and a little bit of 5.5 just to like add some warmth back into my skin. I know it looks crazy right now, but it literally blends to nothing. So it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I put up on my Instagram story the other day, like new makeup um, that maybe you guys have been trying or like something that like I need to try because I feel really bad that I've kind of got into the rut of using all of the same stuff. And I love new makeup. I love trying new makeup. So I've taken all of your suggestions on board and I'm gonna get a few bits to do an, a video in the future of just, yeah, a full face of new makeup. Maybe it's not necessarily new as in it's just come out new, but it's new to me. Um, and they were like some of your suggestions of things that you are just loving that I need to try. So I've written a list down and I'm excited. I've got actually a couple here, um, which I probably will put on my face today because I've, they are new as in they've just come out, but um, I have been using them already and I love them. For example, actually these aren't new, new, but they're new to me and I used, uh, he's just, Mitchell's come out with some pencils as well, which I've been loving. Finally, maybe found a replacement for my NARS Mambo pan pencil. Can you believe it? Like, Mitchell, you've outdone yourself there. Um, so yeah, literally just that flawless filter on my face. And then I'm just gonna go in with concealer. This is the HNB concealer. Yeah, like, I don't know, not so precise when it comes to like blending it out. I'm just taking like my foundation sponge, but mainly because I can't find my tapered sponge. But you can see that just adds coverage underneath the eyes. And then I am gonna go in with my lighter one just to like brighten underneath. And when you use a damp sponge, it really isn't like, I know I said this is gonna be like a no makeup makeup, but it really feels like just super lightweight on the face that it just feels like skin. And I feel like to achieve like a no makeup makeup look, cream products is the way to do it. Like powders can just look like a bit heavy maybe on the skin. Um, so when I want something to look natural, I tend to just stick with creams. I'm really loving this Refi brush. Just for, yeah, like slightly more diffused, blended application to the skin. And just like with the excess of that cream, I'm just gonna like, cause I'm not gonna wear any eyeshadow, but I'll just like pop it, pop it uh, in the sockets of my eyes and just kind of like connect it all up. Just to add a little bit of depth. Mixing these two together, I feel like I'll go into more depth about them in the makeup video. But I am really kind of emphasizing a bit more on like the pink uh, because my outfit is green and pink and green, well not completely, well, yeah, pretty much all green. Um, we're getting into spring guys. Green is one of my fave colors to wear in spring, but like khaki vibes and like sage, I love those in the springtime. Um, so just like mixing them together. Cream blush is like a sure way to just have a really, yeah, no makeup, makeup look like flush of color to the skin. And then I just go in with my sponge. Then I'm just gonna take a translucent powder. <gasps> Shocker, not my Charlotte Tilbury powders. Just because I feel like they give you like coverage. And I just kind of want to lightly set like everything in place. I don't necessarily want super, super coverage on my skin. I'm just gonna lightly I'm not gonna contour as such, but just dust a bit of bronzer around to like set that cream bronzer. You know, like literally big brushes like this are your best friend when you wanna keep things natural. And again, just wanna re-emphasize that blush. See, and then we are gonna go back in with the Beauty Light Glowgasm as like our really dewy highlight, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows. So I went ahead and did my brows and actually just stuck on some lashes. Um, Cannot for the life of me find the box of what these are, but I always feel like, again, I feel like I'm really late to this trend as well. Like just, these were a pair of just like faux mink strip lashes, 
cut them in half and stuck them on the outer part. So just like a half lash, especially if you've got like little lashes, like like little natural lashes like me, this just adds a little, you know, but still looks very natural. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the Glowgasm, the pink wand, or is it Pinkgasm? Like I said, I really wanna like emphasize the pink tones today to complement my green outfit. And I just, I haven't used this product in ages. I don't know why. I feel like it's because it's always out of stock. So I feel bad using it. It's like a natural makeup, like, must have. They just blend so effortlessly. I know they do, like, peach gasm, I think. So it's slightly more, like, apricotty toned one. And obviously they've got their, like, contour and their like highlighter one love this i think because it's pink it like almost adds a dewy like flush oh by the way i found my sponge a <laughs> dewy flush to the skin which is what i really like and then now just do lips I feel like i don't really like to do too much maybe just a little bit of lip liner and <laughs> like a sticky gloss this is the lip gel from NK Makeup, I'm pretty sure. I got this because I saw someone on TikTok with them and I got mine on Amazon. And that is it. Like my really quick, easy, no makeup, makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and sort my hair out now and then I can show you the outfit. Right guys, just blow dried my hair, but can we take a moment for these trousers? And like the bodysuit and everything, but I don't know about you, I'm trying to like mix it up with my trousers. I feel like all I do is maybe wear jeans or joggers. And these, I feel like you could totally dress these up or down. The fit of them is so flattering. Perfect for the springtime in terms of the color. I love them and I love a flared like bottom at the moment. Can't go wrong with these racer back body suits as well. Um, I just got mine in black. Don't need to wear a bra, which is always a plus. They're so supportive. These are actually one of the like thicker, like the thickest material ones that I've tried. Perfect if you have a slightly bigger chest um, and you're scared about support. I've got mine in a 14. Um, and then this is my favorite piece to tie everything together. This coat is the perfect thickness for when it's starting to, you know, the sun's coming out, but you still wanna wear a coat, but you don't need anything like big and bulky. This trench, I love it, literally. Number one, green for spring. But just, I love how it like ties everything all together. It's still very casual, but you know, I don't like I put effort in. Give me like a catwalk, you know? Like I said, for the springtime, colors are being slowly introduced back into my wardrobe. And I think green is like a safe, a safe place to start. And I love khaki. Um, I forget how much I love khaki, especially with like, I think my darker hair, I tend to, you know, I like a bit of green, um, but this is just gorgeous. But yeah, like I said, I saw it first, have some amazing bits in for spring at the moment. These kind of transitional pieces, I'm obsessed with. These trousers are my favorite. Um, and yeah, just like a bit of color as we're going into the springtime. So I will leave these all links down below. Thanks, I saw it first for sponsoring my outfit today, but I'm just so obsessed with this. Um, yeah, and I just feel like I've put effort in, but everything's all very, you know, still pretty casual. And if you're a new customer or have never shopped on I Saw It First as well, make the most of that discount code, Rach, for five pound off orders, 20 pounds or more. Uh, just an incentive, you know, to have a little browse, have a little shop, try somewhere new. Um, but right, time to go to Tesco's. I keep forgetting on a Sunday, things shut. Pretty sure they shut at five. It's now four, so I've got to go. Um, and I'll catch you guys later when we can start the cooking. Hi, I'm back and it's the best part. It's dinner time. Favorite part of a Sunday. I find this very therapeutic. I've, I've said it a million times. Cooking is my like wind down time. So I feel like the next X amount of minutes, I'm gonna do it very, not talk through, but just like, just watch me cook. A lot of you guys said that you actually really like that way of doing it. I feel like it's very Emily Mariko, but like not so, hectic and it's just kind of become 
don't know, a, a type of video that everyone finds really comforting. I have done a full video of me talking through and cooking a roast dinner for me and my friends. This is just for me tonight. Um, but I am doing like sort of more portions because I'll, I'll have some like tomorrow. But that Tesco's trip was pretty hectic. I'm not gonna lie. I got there at like 4.30 and it shuts at five. So that was the quickest run around shop I've ever done. They didn't have any ready roasted chickens because, you know, uh, it was the end of the day. So they don't leave like cooked meat out. So I had to get one of those like roast in a bag ones to basically just put it in for an hour in this bag take it out baste it and cook it for like another further 20 minutes hopefully it will be okay and um, i'm gonna put the chicken in in a minute um i've already dun, 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 i've already like washed and peeled some potatoes I suddenly thought, like, my mum always does it at Christmas, like, just pre-peels her vegetables just so they're, like, ready to go. And I googled it, and apparently it's just meant to get rid of sort of excess starch so that they go extra crispy when you cook them in the oven. So I was like, amazing. I'll prep them now. And I feel like peeling and chopping potatoes is boring. And um, I also got some rainbow carrots. I thought this might jazz up my roast a little bit. So I'm gonna roast them. I did cheat a little bit. Got some pre-done honey roasting parsnips. But I feel like I am going to kind of put them on like a tray together. I know it comes in this like little dish, but I'm gonna pick like some bits out. I'm finally getting to use my pink La Crusette dishes. And I'm gonna do the potatoes and like Yorkshire puddings in that one. And look, I'm gonna do a broccoli cheese. I was gonna do cauliflower cheese, but then remember I had those cauliflower hash browns for breakfast. So I was like, let's mix it up. I'm gonna have carrots, broccoli cheese, and maybe I'll do some peas, but they're just like in the microwave peas. But my little dish, I've already just like pre-measured like the broccoli that's gonna go in it. How perfect, obviously, cause it's just me having it. Like I probably, well, I say like, I probably won't have it all. I'll fucking have it all, I love broccoli cheese, cauliflower cheese, who doesn't? So in terms of timing, I'm gonna put the chicken in in a minute because it goes in for an hour. Potatoes, well actually maybe I'll boil the, I need to boil the potatoes, I need to start on the roux for the, the broccoli cheese and I actually need to roast the broccoli slightly for like 10 minutes. Okay, so I need to like, put all of that like in my head, like what should I do first? I'm gonna boil, I'm gonna put the broccoli in the oven, start the sauce and boil the potatoes all at the same time. So if I don't manage to like vlog that part right now because I just need to like do it and they're all really boring bits anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just putting things in the oven and putting things in pans. So. I will be back when we're starting on the cheese sauce. So enjoy. This is kind of like the main part of the Sunday. This isn't necessarily anything to do with the Sunday reset, but it's what I look forward to, like at the end of every week. Well, not every week, but most weeks. little update by the way this right here is my is my laptop it's got my cauliflower cheese recipe on it it's from the olive magazine it's the one i always use um let me just like maybe okay the broccoli is done it's waiting in its little dish and now i think just gonna take yeah the potatoes off um i know i said i wasn't gonna talk through this but i just thought i would explain in case you didn't see before um the potatoes i've realized instead of salting the water I use um, chicken stock that's got tons of flavor in it um, and I just like boil the potatoes in there so I'm just gonna go and drain them. I'm just gonna leave them to cool down in the sink and now we can start the cheese. This is where it gets good. Add your mixture of cheese. I've got red Leicester, cheddar, and Parmesan, just because 
it, like you really want like a strong cheesy taste. And I feel like Parmesan actually really gives that strong cheesy taste more so than just like cheddar on its own. And then any additional seasonings, I'm gonna add some whole grain mustard, a bit of paprika, and my favorite garlic and pepper mix, and probably like a bit of salt as well. It's giving more like fondue, like melted cheese, but I'm not mad about it. It tastes so good. Yep, I'm just gonna add those on top of my broccoli. I feel like I need to be careful right now. It's literally like sludge. So I don't wanna like overdo it. That'll do. Give it a wee spread around. Then of course, a little bit of additional cheese. I'm gonna pop this in the oven now. Gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, I feel like that's everything. Maybe some like peas and stuff at the end and maybe a Yorkshire, but they only take a few minutes. Um, so next, we'll just be waiting to get the chicken out to baste it. Mm -hmm. Nearly time. Oh my God, what an absolute feast. Oh my goodness, you guys, look. At that. Hey, take care of a naked woman. Seems like a job for Joey. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Guys, the food coma. Oh my god, but that was amazing. The robe is back on. Time to end the evening doing some skincare. And the final thing that I help, I do this every day. But if you don't, this should definitely be part of like your Sunday reset routine. And that is to write a to-do list for even if it's just the next day or for the week ahead. Um, I really should have like done some journaling. I've not done that in ages, but I'm just absolutely exhausted. That roast has like taken me out. Time to do some skincare. My camera is like on the lowest battery. What we are gonna do is take, well, this is what I'm just doing at the moment. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution Makeup Remover Spray. It's basically like the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, but in a spray. So I'm guessing it's just like an oil-based spray. And then I just take a wipe as well. Cause I feel like this really just gets rid of everything. You could just use a cotton pad in my cellar water. I really need to make that transition. I'm just out of my cellar water. I should have got some Tesco's early. I just completely forgot. Oh my God, it's in my eye. And I was in a rush. This is just kind of to take the initial load of it off. And then we're gonna go in with a cleanser. This one is still my go-to and it really is just because it's so gentle on the skin. Especially if this is your nighttime skin routine, you don't want anything that's gonna feel uncomfortable on your skin or like irritate your skin right before you go to bed. Then I just use a face halo to wash my face. Guys, look at this spot here. So annoying. And then, I'm gonna use this. I've used it a little bit before, and I keep seeing Mitchell rave about it, and his skin looks amazing right now. I feel like it is more like, it's like a toner vibe. Um, pour a small amount of solution onto applicator, scrub face for 30 to 60 seconds, rinse, use two times a week. Oh, and I need to wet this first. I 
So now we just take that off as well. Wow, my skin is looking clean. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize now. Um, I've really been loving this, the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Cream. Um, it's super hydrating, anything with hy hyaluronic acid in it, I'm down. Just found this little spoon, which if you have acrylic nails, even though I have mastered the like hack of doing it like that, that just makes it a lot easier. Oh God, is there any better feeling than the feeling of cream just like on clean skin? And I also received this in the post the other day obsessed uh, Charlotte Tilbury collagen super fusion facial oil when I saw this I was like this plus my gua sha uh, like I feel like this is going to be a match made in heaven so just a few drops I'm gonna go sort of like upwards with this I'm just gonna place it everywhere and then with my gua sha I have no idea if I've just done that right but I've been using it for a little while now and I feel like I'm actually starting to notice a difference. Probably a complete placebo, but hey ho. And then because I've literally just like cleaned everything off my face, I know I've just put a layer of oil on, so I'm not assuming this is gonna work. It's just like a facial tanning mist. This one's so soon. Smells like coconuts, but yes, while that is drying and before we head to bed, uh, it's time to do my to-do list for, I kind of do mine by day, so mine's just going to be tomorrow. Um, and I literally write down every little thing. If you're someone that's prone to, like, procrastinating or, you know, struggles to get things done, literally just break down your day, even into the most minuscule of tasks. Even if it's, like, load dishwasher as one, unload dishwasher as another one. Because it's so satisfying motivating to just like tick them off. I don't know if that's just me. Is that like a thing? I'm not really sure. Anyway, so let me write down the things I need to do tomorrow. Clothes away, dishwasher. Done, got my, you can't really even see. That's my, that's my to-do list, all done. I feel like that is my Sunday complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can take this <laughs> headband off now. Also, I've been really loving sleeping in um, silk scrunchies. Sorry, why does I have to look like Draco Malfoy? <laughs> when my little fringy bits are down. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like kind of similar to <laughs> just like spend the day with me type things, but this one was meant to be sort of more chilled, a Sunday reset vibe for you guys to watch whenever you want. Um, Save it for Sunday. I'm not sure when this is going up, but you know what I mean. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make the most of the I Saw It First discount if you are a new customer. Code Rach for £5 off orders that are £20 or more if you're new. Treat yourself to some new bits for the springtime. I know my wardrobe is going to slightly shift and change, um, so there might be some new bits needed. But yes, I'm absolutely shattered now. Let's have positive vibes the week ahead. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!